Ellen, thank you. New at 532 right now, D.C. Council staffers expected in court this morning after police say he fired a gun outside a marijuana party. Devon Fuller works as a constituent services coordinator with Ward 1 council member Brianne Nadell. WUSA 9's Michael Quander on top of this story for us. Michael, good morning. And were there any injuries in this? Well, Gio, no one was hurt, but the way detectives say this thing went down, it's surprising. You see, according to these court documents, Devon Fuller and another man randomly fired at least a dozen gunshots into a crowd of nine people. These images from Google Maps shows where D.C. police say shots were fired outside of a pop-up marijuana party at a warehouse. This happened 10 days ago on 25th Place in Northeast D.C. That's just off of Bladensburg Road. So far, here's what we know. Police believe the gunshots all stemmed from an attempted robbery. Police say two men tried to rob Devon Fuller and this man around 6 p.m. that night outside of that marijuana party. But Fuller and the man in this picture pulled out guns and fired shots. Police say they spread away and left behind 12 shell casings from two separate guns. Fuller is a constituent services coordinator with council member Brian Nadeau. In a statement to our media partners at the Washington Post, Nadeau said we are shocked and saddened by this situation and it does not reflect the colleague we have come to know. Police tracked Fuller down to his home in southeast D.C. using surveillance video. They got a search warrant and found his registered gun and D.C. Council employment card. Card. Court documents revealed Fuller had been denied a concealed carry permit, which would have made it illegal to have the gun outside of his home. No, right now, Fuller is on administrative leave during this investigation and is expected in court later this morning. Meanwhile, police need your help tracking down the man that they say was with him that night. If you know who this is, you're looking at him right here behind me. Police should give them a call right away. That number 202-727-9099. Back to you, Gia.